straight up and spider wheel. Sensational. Another spider wheel. Can't stop, won't stop. I'm Gucci. Let's get a big fish. What is going on guys? So, before we jump in the video, let me break down just a couple things that really helped me out and weigh the odds in my favor. First off, it was like 75 degrees in summer at 8.30 in the morning. That is ridiculous. That doesn't happen too often. And it was cloudy. So in my head, I was like, you know what? Let's do top water. So I had the Whopper Plopper 130. That was my one bait. The second bait I had was my Area 19 Worm. I brought that bait strictly because whenever a bass blows up or any type of fish on a topwater bait, many times you can follow it with a worm and get bit. Lastly, I had the Bull Bluegill by Bull Shad. This bait I can fish very fastly, surf surface, and get a fish to bite or either follow. Those were the three baits. All three of them were tools for the job. So, let's get straight into that video and let's see what happened. Close, but not close enough. Man, look at all these small bass. Oh, shoot. That's a big bass. All right, guys, I see a giant bass. I'm gonna throw my swim bait. That's a good one. Hope I can get him to hit this. Well, I know one good bass is over here. There he is. Hit it. Oh, got him. Got him, got him on the swim bait. Look at that, guys. I drew his butt in. I saw him come up on the waffle plopper and got him on that bull shad bull gill. This one's 7-3, guys, on the Bull Bluegill. There she goes. Let me be up front with y'all. This was one of the most craziest bites that I have ever had. It was so dope to just experience this. When I actually reeled that Bull Gill in, and got it fairly close to the shore. Only about, you know, a foot and a half from the shore, I could see this massive bass falling in. I mean, I think I did a couple pops. I can't remember exactly what happened in that moment, but I saw that fish just come up to my bait, look at it, and then open his mouth and suck it completely in. In my head, I'm like, <laughs> where's my bait? Where's my bait? Oh shoot, set the hook. And from that point on, everything was a rush. Everything went from zero to a hundred. I mean, I pretty much bank flipped that fish in, which is, I mean, crazy. It's like a 7.3 pound bass. But I will be truthful. The Al Rod Genius 2 is a solid rod. That thing can handle a whole lot. It's called numerous big fish this year. So by far, guys, one of the funniest and craziest catches I have had this year. Uh, thanks for watching this video. And hopefully uh, the tips up front actually helped you guys out. Like everything was perfect for this day. Uh, it was cloudy. It was a potential to rain. It was low temperatures. So guys, if you have these really great days, be sure to get out and fish them. And always watch the water. Whenever you're fishing a swim bait, you want to look what's behind your bait. Look at your bait, but look what's behind it. Because many times that's where your big followers will be. 
So, tell lines to your guys, and we'll catch you on the next video. This is a heavy best right here.